Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Pendi and let's continue with this series on Django. In the last video, we have created the app inside our Visual Studio. So we got a project inside which we got a small app named as Calc, which is doing nothing. And let's make it work. So what we wanted is we wanted to get the home page, right? We want to see the home page saying hello world or whatever you want. Now the way you can do that, so to understand how exactly thing will work, which we have to understand how Django navigates stuff. So the moment you request to the Django server, when the moment you request to your URL, which is localhost colon 8800, it will search for the URL's mapping. So what will happen is you are asking for the home page, right? So it will search for the mapping, which is with slash. So basically home page is referred with slash or empty. If you want to refer to a particular page, let's say uh, website slash documents or website slash uh, products, that's where you will see all the products page. So home page normally referred as empty or slash. So here we have to do something with this URL. But then this URL is for the entire project, not for a specific app, right? We want to work with this particular app, which is Calc. So in this Calc, we need a file, which is urls.py, its own URL mapping. So let's click here and we have to search for urls.py. This is where you have to provide the mapping, but watch it with the code. So if you go back to the project, main project URL, so you can see we have these two things here, which is path. Sort of which I only need this form. In fact, we can just type it there. Let's type it. So, so we have to say from django.urls import path. We want to import the path. And then here, if we need one more. We need views as well. So we'll say from all import views. Okay, but how will you provide the mapping? So that's where you have to use a list of mappings. Okay, you might be having multiple URLs to map with, right? So we'll say URL pattern. So we'll have a list here. So this is where you have to do the stuff. So since we'll be having multiple lines, let me say enter. And this is where you will specify the mapping. So let's specify only one path as of now. We'll, we can add later as well. So we can say path. Now for which path? So you can also say slash here, which is for home, or you can keep it empty. That's your choice give a comma so whenever someone calls for the home page that's what we are doing here so whenever someone calls for home page we need to handle it with some function now of course the navigation is a process right it should be done with the help of some function so we'll call that function but what is the function name as of now we'll simply say views dot home comma and we can have the name as home itself or you can also have index.html right that's what we do uh, so we normally have our page home page name as home or as index.html both will do here let's stick to home so when you click on this views if you get any error there just you it will ask you to install this extension let's click on install that it should not take much time okay i think it's done let's go back to cmd our original prompt so you can see we are getting an error here for views but why we got the error it's because the moment you say you for this url you are handling this with the help of a home function unfortunately we don't have this function where you, where you will define this and that's where we have this view module so just go to views.py and here we have to create that function okay what function so the moment you say function you have to set def and the function name would be home that's what we are used there and this home will accept a request so that's what you get from the client right so when a client sends a request you will get in a request object and then you can simply return okay but how will you return data so i want to return hello world so what we are saying is whenever a client request for home or the home page i want to return hello world but then this will not work directly because we have to send that in a response format if you are getting data in a request format you have to give back in a response response format and if you want to use that we have to use a special thing here which is http response let's give a bracket here okay so what we are doing now is http response okay but we got an error the error is see whenever we use this http response stuff we have to also import it right because it's not imported here so we can do that is by saying from django.http and we have to import http response so this http response belongs to this package or module named as http okay so that's done so you can see we got a function if you go back to urls.py okay it should remove the error now what's wrong okay you can see it's solved so we got views there as well we got views.home it is working but will this work so you can see we got a calc as an app and then we have edited two files because this will handle the mapping so whenever you call the home page it will call this particular function which is home and then in this views it will call it will print hello world but will this work unfortunately let's okay let's try 
It's wise to say unfortunately. Uh, in fact, I will be creating an extra, or maybe I will, I will use a second prompt here. Okay, so you can see I'm using two prompts. In fact, we have we got three prompts, prompts here. So here in the new prompt, I will be starting the server because the server is not on. So if you refresh, you can see we don't have the server started. Let's go back and let's type the command and we all know the command now, right? So which is Python space manage.py and you have to mention run server. Okay, so once we have this server running, let's go back and let's say refresh. Okay, you can see we got, we are still getting the default homepage. We are, we are not getting hello world. Something is wrong here. So think about this. We are doing all the mapping inside the urls.py, which is our file, right? We are not doing anything in the project file because this is the main file which, which controls everything. So we have to mention that entry here as well. Not the exact entry, not the, all, all the entries, but just one entry. We have to mention, hey, you have to also use the URL file of the app. And the way you can do that is by saying path. So for the home path, we are using it. Let's give a comma. And then if you want to use that particular file, which is urls.py of calc, you have to mention that here with the help of a function named as include. And in this, you have to mention calc.urls. Okay, you have to mention that file. That's it. It should work now. Oh, but there's one issue. You can see we got an error here. Uh, the error is of comma, is it? Yeah, so there was a comma issue. So you can see we got the error for include now. But why? It's because we are using a function without importing it. So this is something you have to remember. You have to also import it. So you can simply give a comma after path and here, you can mention include and our job is done. That's it. I hope this will work now. Uh, let's go back to the browser and say refresh. Okay, so the server is not running. Let me run the server again. So you can see we got hello world. So it's that simple, right? Just to go for a quick recap what we have done. I know we have not done some, something much, but at least we are able to generate our content dynamically without using that static HTML page. Right. So if you can do this, we can do whatever you want, right? We can fetch data from database. Uh, we can do calculations as well, right? But we'll do that later. But as of now, what is happening? The moment you send a request, request search for this file where you are saying, hey, if you are searching for the home page, you have to look for calc URLs. And in this calc URLs, what we are doing is we are saying, okay, for the home page, you have to call this function, which is home. And inside this home, we are saying, hey, return, is, return hello world. So whatever you mentioned here, maybe the variables as well, because this is a function, you can write variables, right? So you can do some processing and you can return. So that's how you can create your first app, right? But this is not a fully functional app. We'll make it work in the up upcoming videos. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for, for the videos. Bye-bye.